Okay, an update regarding our LEC team. Okay. Let's react to that, that's new. Hello everyone, I am Arnau Vidal, co-founder and chief gaming officer of Team Heretics. I'm also here with Albert, our general manager of League of Legends. And we are here today to talk about the upcoming changes in our LEC team. Okay. We identified multiple issues in the team with one of them being the lack of leadership and communication. Especially lack of leadership and communication. That is literally impossible. This roster has Perks and Yankos who played in G2 and were known for this. Like, come on. No way. I, I, sorry. No way. The, like, if, if there's a lack of communication and leadership with those players, then it's a coaching problem. There is no way. They even have fucking Wunder. There's just no way. Nope. I don't believe that. Especially after the early game. And that's why Trimby came as an option. Even though Kaiser is a really good and skilled player, we think that Trimby can bring that skill into the, into the team, which is something that we are missing and is really affecting us. But even though we knew that that was an issue, it was not the only issue. That's why we sat down with everyone, staff, coaches, uh, players, okay. to really make sure that the, the change in the support was not the only change that would be uh, made in the team going to uh, spring split. Also several things in terms of structure, uh, discipline, and other topics had to, be, had to be improved and had to be modified because okay. we didn't want to believe that with the change in the support, everything would be fixed. We okay. wanted to make sure that, that there was enough self-awareness in the group to understand also other topics that were critical to improve and to change and to make sure that Spring Split would be much more successful for, for the team. After these uh, 1v1 talks, I believe most of the players were aligned and everyone was more aligned with the issues we found out. Uh, we pushed that a lot and when we started the scrims on Spring Split, we felt that the issues were still there, that the problem was still there and we were not only not improving, also playing worse than from Winter Split, okay? And for us, not doing anything was not an option, okay? We don't care if we have to uh, uh, push the team a lot and, and, and push the players, but we need uh, results and we need to be playing better. We were still dysfunctional, as Arnau just mentioned. And the key point that we have, or the special point that we have, is that we have an academy that is a really good academy, a really good project that we believe from day one on them. That's why last year, uh, Flacket came to a roster, and this year we have this second announcement uh, that we're about to make. So. As many of you already know, okay. Swider is going to be promoted to LEC. We're really happy because he's been a key player for our uh, academy team success for already three years from now. A lot of you might be questioning why this change was not planned uh, before, after the first split. This is something that we've been, of course, discussing and exploring with everyone. And in the conversations after the poor performance of uh, winter split, uh, we discussed with everyone in the team and everyone was highly valuing the effort and work that Luca was putting to make sure that the team was successful and to improve his performance as well. But after going into streams and dynamics uh, into a spring split and seeing that there was no improvement in the dynamic of the team and the team was still stuck in a lot of issues that we identified during the first split, we really thought that a change was needed to be made and that's why we stepped in. A lot of people have been also talking about me with the, with the famous dispute with the manager, something like this. This is a matter of multiple issues that we found out. We think that someone like Swido can come with a lot of motivation and push the rest of the players, because that's something that in this first day of a scrim that Swido has been playing, has been pushing everyone into a correct and positive way, which is something we were missing before. And at the same time, probably the international speaker uh, doesn't see this, but I have been defending and supporting Luca since day one. And I still think that he's a great player. But for the dynamics and for the synergy of this team, right now the best we can do is having Swido on the main roster. We know that most of you are disappointed by the results that we had during the first split, but this is not how it starts, it's about how it ends. And last year we also had a rough first split and we ended in summer split being one of the best teams in the LSC. So we are confident that we are doing everything possible and everyone in the team is aligned uh, to, to, be, to be successful and to have a good season. And yeah, uh, 
This is pretty much it. Yep. Thank you very much, everyone, for following us, uh, for supporting us, uh, trusting the process, as many of you guys will say, and vamos heretics. Uh, like, here's my problem, okay? Here's my problem. One side here is massively lying. Because this article that, you know, the leakers posted out had a way different conclusion than everything that was just said in the video. They're saying in the video, oh, our screams are going bad and oh, we need to fix the dynamic of synergy and this and that. Well, here it literally just says it was a dispute between manager and he's getting benched. The team was playing screams with him and that's it. So, like, what? I'm so confused now. Like, I can't make any conclusion. Like, there's just, like, this is just, like, one side says something, the other side says something, and then now it's just like, uh, okay. But, yeah, I, I don't know. The communication thing, that was, to me, just straight up wrong. Um, that was the only thing I can really comment on, I think. It's also, you know what's also weird to me? Like, from what I've heard myself, okay? I mean, I could be wrong. But from what I've heard, I, I've heard they were doing good in Screams, and this video said they were doing bad in Screams. So now it's like, what the fuck? Okay, disagreeing. Okay, let's see. On Spring Split, we felt that the issues were still there, that the problems were still there, and we were not only not improving, also playing worse than from Winter Split, okay? By the way, I this is, I mean, I don't know how much can I talk about this because these are my owners and they can kick me whenever they want, right? But I feel <laughs> I, I I just disagree with that statement. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm going to take Yonkers Ward over, over their ward in any case here. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I disagree. And if I get kicked for saying that, that's fine. I just disagree with what was said right now, but uh, I'm not gonna get into it. And for us, not doing anything. That's what I said. I've heard from my own sources they also were doing better in screams. That's why I'm like so confused. Where this we're doing worse in screams, and now it's a performance thing. When before it wasn't even close to being a performance thing. Okay, let's let's uh, let's see what Radis is saying about the heretics threat. Why aren't the coaches start to speak about the gameplay related reasons for making these changes, particularly for mid lane? All of these guys constantly look like the others to speak as if they're both uncomfortable about making the video. With Yankus and Flocket reactions on Twitter, I'm skeptical about the team being super duper motivated by suddenly bringing in an academy meet only for gameplay related reasons. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Like, they're saying it's kind of gameplay, but the article that, like, Wulu or whatever posted was not gameplay related. It was, like, a dispute. The whole video is a bunch of red flags. Team lacking leadership when you have three industry veterans, Wunder Yankus perks. Yeah, that's what I said. Claiming you have faith on your academy team and that's why Zara got promoted but when they have Zara on academy team for 2 plus years they only promoted him because Perks got an argument with the manager not to mention Jack Spectre was quick to get ditched after 2 quick splits. I also agree with that. Didn't they have, uh, they had fucking Ruby right? Which was considered the worst uh, mid laner that played in LEC back then and they didn't promote Zara back then either and they had literally the worst mid laner right? So I, I agree like it's just the classic PR of hey we believe in our academy team and then you look at the track history in the record of academy team and they kick Jack Sparcher immediately off LEC. Um, yeah, they didn't promote his, their mid laner when Ruby was playing in LEC, that is true. Okay. The scream has become worse after Trimby joined, if they can openly admit this, uh, their screams must be going really, really badly. But this is just not true, like Yankos did their sudden stream, their screams are going better. My information says their screams is going better too. Comparing their situation to last year, where our team ended up being a top tier team in summer, forgetting that main reason that happened. My language looks shaky and nervous. It's clear that this was meant to be a PR video. Yeah, I'm glad people are realizing there's just a lot of problems here with their statement that it's just not true.